Welcome to Animals of Taiji. This is Zuryan. White crane. Picture, if you will, a crane standing tall in its wonderful, imposing stature and quiet grace. It spreads its wings, expanding and rising to go aloft or dance the way cranes do, dazzling and strong with luminous wings. Both yin and yang are contained within the crane. The crane is yang by virtue of its rising, expanding, and pushing nature and appearance. Its opposite, or yin, is that the crane looks big and strong, but internally the crane is light and delicate. The Taiji posture, white crane spreads its wings, is a posture that opens and expands. Our arms spread open like the crane spreading its wings. Our fingertips are like the ends of the wings. Our body lines are straight and propelled up by our legs. All of the kicks we do in Taiji have a bit of the crane in them. With both of these kinds of postures, our weight is rooted on one leg, our arms open, the top of our head pulling upward. These all bring crane-like qualities to our movement inspired by this dazzling bird. Legend has it that the crane was one of the animals that inspired the founder of Taiji, Chang Tseng Feng, to develop a martial art based on the principles of adapting to change, blending soft and hard with strength, and yielding. Chan Sen Feng was a Taoist wanderer living in the mountains of China around the late 13th century. He had become disenchanted with modern day life as it was. The government that he worked for trained its officers in martial arts systems that used force, effort, muscular strength, and were always in attack mode. Because of this, he retreated to the quiet life. One day, Chang Sen Feng watched as a crane swooped down towards the ground from a tree with its wings fully spread. What is this crane moving so powerfully towards, he wondered. On the ground, a snake hissed a challenge at the crane. The crane trained its sharp pointed beak at the snake, who used its deceptive coiling movements to evade danger while at the same time lashing its tail in attack at the crane. These actions of counterattacking and evading went on and on for some time. Eventually, after tiring themselves out, the crane lifted off the ground to fly back into a tree, and the snake slithered away, effectively both left in a truce. Exhilarated by this contest he had witnessed, Chang Sen Feng realized he had seen the perfect example of conflict resolution that he had been yearning for. He developed his principles and took his art to the people. White Crane, the symbol of longevity, renewal, and peace. Bring all of these associations and your way of knowing into your Tai Chi practice. Thank you for joining me.